Good morning. In this video today, we are going to show how to make a halo ring with marquees. So let's start from tools. I will choose the split chain. So the split chain, as you know, it works with stones. So we, first you have the stones and then you can choose if you want metal. I will say yes, show metal. So I get the metal. I will position this click and shift just in the middle. So then if I have to do the mirror, it will be easy for me. And also I will change the profile to a square profile. So I, you know, that just clicking on this window where you have all the profiles, launch the profile library. I select a square and the profile has changed. I will also switch on show profiles because I will use them later to do the work. Actually, I can do it now. So I can select one of those and profile cap. So I have it close here and I will do the same on this profile. This is what I was looking for. Now that we have the shank, I leave it here because then I can go back to the split shank and I can edit at any time. But first I need the stone for the reference. To place the stone, I will use the green rail. First, let me see if I have a way that I can show bridge toggle. This is what I was looking for. If I use the bridge toggle, I don't need to use the green rail because the bridge toggle will allow me to use it as a reference for the gem on green rail. So this is the tool, gem on green rail. The reason why the gem goes in this position is because it's placed at location zero. If we want it just in the middle, I just need to type 0 0.5 and I will get it exactly in the middle. I will change the shape from this a stone to a cushion and I will leave it here. Then we will see if we need to move it. Something that I want is just this offset. This is where we will place the stones, the halo stones. And I will leave another one because this other one is the one that I will use to use the tool that we have in settings that is called the cluster prong. Now I will place all the stones for this halo. Because everything is editable, I don't need now to take too much attention to the size. Once I place all the stones, then will be the time to start editing this model. I will choose gem on curve. I will choose marquees. The size that I want is 4 by 2. And from 0 to 1, we'll fill up the whole curve. Now, if I go to the top view, I just want to be sure that the stones are centered. You'll see that this one is in this axis, but the other ones are not. So. In this situation, we have different options. The first one is to move the stones out that I will achieve that just going with the gem offset and editing it. So I will go to edit and I will move it out. So because the diameter will be bigger now, also we are adding more stones. I want to see the whole stone because if I see the whole stone then I will be able to use the same prong setting this stone setting the center stone and still I want a bit more this is perfect because as you can see now all the stones are even I have one in this axis one in this axis and the same on the other sides let me go to perspective to see how does it looks like and I believe that it looks very good now we will start to play with the, in the settings tab with a cluster prong. Always have a uh, keep an eye on the select uh, in the command line. So he's telling me select the center gem. I select the center gem and select the cluster gems. These are the cluster gems. And already 
puts one prong on each stone. Now from here we can choose different layouts. For this one I will select this and on this window as you can see is empty I need to select the bottom one. So then I'm telling you know just follow this shape. I don't want the pranks, the Bronx mesh and now I need to then share it outside to start playing with it. So the base diameter is 0 0.5 and the top 0 0.5 I will go for 0 0.8. I believe that 0.8 will, uh, will look much better. Let me go to shade it so I can see. Um, I like it like this. If I want it a bit more inside, I just need to click like this and now we'll be setting more, you know, this stone. And now what I will do is the same thing that I did, but I will select it again and now I will use select center gem, select cluster gems and now the curve so I'm doing the same that I did before but now I will change to this one so now I get the, the other ones on, on the other side again now I need to go and share inside and I will go to 0.8 that is the same diameter that I used before so I have the same shape for these ones I will rise the offset so to set the center stone will be a lot better and now the stone the, these uh, prongs are just two inside the stone so we will need to play a bit and now thanks to the, the parametric is a good time to play with it the first thing because the overall dimensions I like them so what I will do is I will go to the Chamon Green Rail and just make it slightly smaller so it was 5.5 I'll go to 5 and now the next thing that I will need to do is just get the Gem Offset Curve I believe that it was this one yes I will go to the top view and as I did before I will play with it until the stones gets closer and they are all even. Now the amount of prong inside is not as much as it was before. So I like how it looks like. The stones are very close that this is also something that I was looking. So I'm good with what I have what I have. Now that the halo is ready, what I need to play with is with this split chunk. So I will go to the split chunk and I will start to play with it. First I need to decide how I want the approach to this halo. So the opening that I have here from the top view, let me just play a bit with it and see how does it looks like if I close it or if I open it. You need to find the right balance with the dimensions of this halo and also with what we have. I like it how it looks now. So now let's try to play a bit with you also need to be aware that you can break the geometry. So here we will have an under setting so I just want to be sure that it finishes a smooth into this under setting so So let's keep rotating it a bit more. This was too much. Okay. 
let me see it looks nice like this something else that we need to work on is with the amount of metal on top of the stone so we will need to go to the metal and in the gem overlap I will go to minus 0 0.1 so now you can see the stones perfectly now we will play with the prongs we will use the smart prongs this is a new tool that we have in the 3.11 and I will use just this one this one this one and this one that's what I need I will just place the prongs where I want them I like it like this what I will do now is this is a very good thing if you want to keep the same settings so I will select these ones I will do Control C Control V so now you'll see that in the parametric tree I have another smart prong and Control V again so I will have another one the reason why I'm doing this is because now I can go to edit and I can select and say I just want this one, this one, this one, and this one. And now I will keep the same settings that I had on this, but on these stones. And the same for this one. I want it on this one, this one, this one, and this one. So very quick I have been using the same settings for all the stones. Perfect. So I believe that I have almost everything. Now, what will be left is select this area, and I will do the mirror. Transform, I will do the mirror. And now that I have the mirror, I will place the bridge. Probably what I can do is just reduce this curve. And everything will follow, so the flow will be nicer. Huh? What I was missing was the under setting for these stones. So let me go to settings and I will place under bezel. Or gallery rail, gallery rail will be okay. You see here, gallery rail failed. Try adjusting girdle offset or thickness. So this is very important to read it because depending on what dimensions we, we have in these stones, we need to adapt it. So now if you look to the thickness, 1.5 is too much. For other stones will be okay, but for these ones is too much. So from the moment that I go to 0 0.5 or 0 0.6, we can see now the, the gallery rails. I will reduce the height to something like this, and also I will move them up. That's just what I want. And now the next thing that I will do is place, because everything is around this, so on this curve I will go to solid and we have the pipe. I will generate the pipe. I will increase the thickness until it's something that Okay, we always have the total control, so still I can go to the gem offset curve. I believe that was this one, not the other one. To adapt everything. So now, as you can see, the prongs are adapting to the new line. 
and still I could go to transform and I have the pull to rail so if I select the pull to rail I can select the rail I can select the object and it's just adapting very smooth to the shape of this green rail and now it's just the last step left the last step left will be placing the bridge so to place the bridge I will use the profile placer I will place one here because everything is a squarish I will also select from the library the square profile the square profile and I will adapt it to the thickness that I have 0 0.8 is enough and I will place another one on this end probably I will go like this because now what I will do is a sweep one so sweep one between this part this and this and I will do a mirror so we have now everything and the model is done of course that there will be someone who will make it different but with all this parametric tree that we have now we have the freedom to make any change